Yo, y'all see this? 50 Cent sells Diddy Doc to Netflix at the bidding war. 50 wasn't playing, y'all. He was serious as a heart attack. I didn't think that I, I didn't think that he would I didn't think that that he was playing about it anyway. But I didn't think that it would be this soon. I thought Diddy probably would have at least maybe been arrested or something by that time. But I didn't think a documentary was gonna be this soon and 50 been working, y'all. So let me read this article right here. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, so um okay, so this from TMZ. And it says 50 Cent has been hyping up his Diddy documentary for months, and he wasn't trolling his arch enemy as the project, project just landed a prestigious new home, TMZ has learned. Multiple sources familiar with the situation tell TMZ 50's multi-part documentary about the sexual assault allegations against Diddy was purchased by Netflix. He was not playing, y'all. Okay, we're told there was a massive bidding war over the doc which was produced through 50's G-Unit film and television studios with multiple networks and all of the streaming platforms attempting to land the series. Ultimately, the Big Red Inn emerged the victor, with sources telling TMZ the new Diddy docuseries will hit the streamer sooner than later. The documentary couldn't be timelier. The rap mogul was hit with another civil lawsuit Tuesday with model Chris Crystal McKinney accusing Diddy of sexual assaulting her in 2003. She came forward after 2016 security footage of Diddy beating on ex Cassie in a hotel hallway surfaced Friday. Cassie previously accused Diddy of abuse and sexual assault last year and settled out of court one day later. In his video apology posted last weekend, Diddy apologized and called the Cassie incident one of the darkest times of his life. He's still facing a handful He's, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm buzzing and tripping at the same time because 50 ain't playing, y'all. I wasn't expecting to see this. Okay, so uh, let me get back, y'all. Um, where was I? Right here. Okay. He's still facing a handful other sexual assault claims in several different lawsuits and, and has denied the accusations. As far as how 50 Cent fits into the saga, the rival rapper has been trolling Diddy amid his legal woes frequently taking to social media and weighing in on the allegations as well as the federal raids on the Bad Boy Records founders Los Angeles and Miami homes. The two rappers have been at odds for nearly two decades, dating back to 2006 when 50 released a diss track called The Bomb in which he alleged Diddy knows who killed the notorious big. We reached out to reps for 50 Cent and Netflix. So far, no word back. Okay, y'all, and y'all, like I said, I'm tripping. And and what I was about to say is that this not a, now this came from TMZ. TMZ, you know, I, I find them more credible than media takeout because the last time uh, something like this, it was with the 50 Cent and Ciroc deal, and come to find out, media takeout lied. And uh, I did uh, the video from media takeout when I saw it on there, and then a couple of days or a day or so later. I saw that media takeout lied and that wasn't the story. Nobody told them that, yada, yada. So I came back and made a video, uh, you know what I'm saying, to let my subscribers or whoever watched that video know that I'm not just, you know what I'm saying, seeing stuff and running with it. I do like to know that there's some type of credibility behind it. And with media takeout, the credibility with that story for me was the fact that they said that a high-level executive, you know, from Ciroc, told them you know what i'm saying gave them that information so come to find out like i said they lied so right here this is a different story this one came from tms you know this story is tmz and just like i said tmz is you know way more credible than what uh media takeout uh you know or some of those other blog blog pages and you know some of those so i do believe this uh coming from me i mean coming from tmz so, y'all, this is just, I love 50 Cent. One time before, and if any of my friends or family members listening to this video, they probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Because one time before, 50 Cent, I don't know, he was just one of those ones. He's, he's 50 Cent's been a troll since, uh, 50 Cent was trolling Ja Rule way back when he came out. And um, ever since then, that's pretty much what he's known for. He's known for trolling and 
kind of saying things out of the ordinary and you know what I'm saying all kind of stuff and one time before that got on my nerves kind of irritated me a little bit about him because it was always like I mean it was kind of like he just always had something to say about something like whatever was going on 50 Cent had something to say about something or talking about this person and it just kind of got on my nerves after a while to the point where I unfollowed him on uh on social media platforms and then about a year or so after I unfollowed him I followed him back um not that he calmed down well he kind of calmed just a very little bit but I think he started making more sense to me because it was kind of like you know what I'm saying people in situations that needed to be trolled he was trolling them so you know I don't know how that might sound to y'all what type of sense that might make to y'all or whatever the case may be but this is my two cents you know what I'm saying my opinion in this video <laughs> and I just you know I, I just kind of feel like that but yo y'all 50 not playing at all y'all I can imagine now I haven't even seen this yet on social media I have not even been on social media yet I'm actually working on or just edited another video and just happened to be scrolling around and, you know, jumped up on TMZ to see what might be, you know, went on since the last time I was on it earlier today. And I saw this out here, y'all, so I had to do one real quick. Like, I'm still editing the other video, but I had to. Uh, I had to say something about because, like, y'all, like, 50 is not playing with this man. And I, like I was about to say about the social media thing, I know that when I know when I go on social media or whenever I see this up on social media, I can already see the comments. Oh, he doing too much. Oh, he enjoying taking a black man down. And I, I, I already know, like I already know that once this is posted up on social media, that's exactly what the comments are gonna say. Everybody gonna be. I'm not going to say I ain't saying everybody, but, you know, you're going to have a whole bunch of the ignorant ones out there that's going to be jumping on 50 because they feeling like that he's too ecstatic and too excited because he's taking another black man down instead of just being too ecstatic and too excited by taking down somebody who needed to be taken down years ago. So, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Whenever I hear that and whenever I see that, I be like, miss me with that. Somebody tried to come under one of my videos uh, back a month or so ago, one of them Diddy videos I did, and try to holler that shit up under one of my videos. Don't come up under my videos talking all of that, taking no black man down or none of that. I'm not going to, I, I don't even think, well, you do have some people that think like that, but as far as me and a whole lot of other people, Diddy is dirt. I don't care if he black, white, blue, red, purple. I don't care what color he is. He's dirt. And for him to have been doing what he was doing for so long, and, and you know what I'm saying? And, nothing happening to him and now all of a sudden i mean you know what i'm saying now in 2024 those roosters are, you know what i'm saying and now oh, everything that he's done over the years are, are coming back hitting him and all of a sudden it's all of this so anyway y'all i just had to just like i said when i saw this y'all i burst out laughing because i knew 50 I, well i'm not gonna say i knew but I felt he was being serious because, you know, you know, I, I felt he was being serious when he was saying that. But, y'all, I didn't think that it was going to be. I, I didn't think it was going to be right now. And I need to go back and, and see uh, uh, with that R. Kelly documentary because I mentioned that in one of them other videos. And I don't think that I think it slipped my mind and I never went back and looked. But I wanted to see when. uh when they made when did they make that surviving r kelly documentary did they make that documentary uh before well no he wasn't locked up then he wasn't locked up then because they came back with either the second or the third um the third one that after he got locked up or something like that but i'm just trying to figure out now r kelly had already been charged so i guess that was the difference uh between him and diddy uh, R. Kelly already had charges and Diddy uh, has not been charged yet. So I think that that's the only difference. But I think that we all see where it is going, y'all. I don't know. Stop. Take the blinders off of your eyes. Stop trying to fool yourselves and stop trying to think that everybody's just trying to take a black man down. We already know where it's going with Diddy. And I think that's why everybody uh, kind of like so quick to jump up on it um, the way that they have been. Because just like I said in them other videos, 
um, well, the one that I did either yesterday or whatever about his industry friends, um, just like I said about with that video, they knew, they knew, they knew what Diddy was doing, just like they knew what R. Kelly was doing. And I think that that's because they know, you know, the industry know what he was doing. Everybody knew what he was doing. So they know that just like with R. Kelly, that you will be, you know what I'm saying? That you will be taken down. You will be taken down because you've done dirt for so long. It's just, it's time. It's time. I don't know what he did or said or whatever uh, to have them people not protecting him anymore. Well, somebody just told me earlier that he was just in a beef with Clive Davis. So when they told me that, that kind of answered my question because I, I really wanted, you know, wanted to know what did this man do or say to make them people stop protecting him because they've been stopped protecting him. They've been stopped protecting him a while ago, not like just now. But uh, they told me that they had a, that he was beefing or something going on with Clive Davis. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's what, it, you know what I'm saying? If they're no longer protecting him, that's that, that Clive Davis, I don't know how much y'all believe about what y'all hear about the industry and the funny business that they have going on. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it, but just to say that uh, Clive Davis holds a higher position in that organization than Diddy does, for one. And then for two, uh, Clive Davis is white. So if Diddy was beefing with Clive Davis, then I can see how the tables, you know what I'm saying, how they would turn against him and how the industry, uh, you know what I'm saying, how they, how they letting him go bust. They're no longer protecting him. But, y'all, I'm still tripping off this 50 Cent, y'all. I, I can't wait to hear uh, more about this. And I'm sure that we have. I'm sure TMZ, well, I'm sure it's on. I haven't been on social media since earlier. I see TMZ posted this at 526 um, today. So I'm sure that it's on social. Because this this right here, everybody going to be posting about this. Because 50 Cent, I don't think anybody expected uh, for him to already, I mean, this documentary was already in the works. You know what I'm saying? While he was talking and laughing about it, it was already in the works. He was serious as a heart attack. So you know, y'all, I can't, I can't wait to, um, I can't wait to, I, I can't wait to see the documentary for one. But y'all, Fifty about to have have the internet going ham because just like I said, you gonna have those people that's riding with him. And then you're going to have those people that's going to be, you know, uh, jumping on his back because they think he's trying to take a black man down and all that type of crap, y'all. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for watching my video. I'm out.